Hey, I'm Doug. Welcome to Backcountry Pilgrim and Camino 2020, a section of the channel dedicated to walking the Camino de Santiago. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about keeping clean on the Camino. When it comes to keeping clean on the Camino, one of the first things that probably comes to mind is soap, or soap and shampoo if we're thinking about the shower. A lot of Camino pilgrims swear by these shampoo bars, like the Lush brand. There's also some cheaper knockoffs you can get, but essentially they are a solid bar that liquefies when it comes in contact with water, and it can be used as soap or shampoo, and some people say even laundry detergent. Now the trouble with these that I have seen is that storage of them can be a little tricky. Because the water actually liquefies them, they stay kind of foamy and sticky until they're dry, and that means that whatever you put them in is going to be foamy and sticky as well. So they sell these special tin boxes that you can put them in. Some people just put them in a Ziploc bag. Others will say put them in a Ziploc bag but leave them open for a while until they dry. For me personally, I am going with something different. For decades, backpackers have sworn by Dr. Bronner's all-in-one soap, shampoo, detergent, and 80 other uses product. Some of the great features of Dr. Bronner's is that number one, it is all natural. In fact, if you look at the label, there are no warnings on it about what happens if it accidentally gets ingested. In fact, using Dr. Bronner's as toothpaste is actually one of the suggested uses. Now, I'm not saying you should drink the stuff, but it's nice to know that you're not putting some kind of foreign chemicals on or in your body. Another nice thing is that it comes in handy sizes and it's already liquid in form. It is a highly concentrated liquid. So just a couple small drops foamed up in the hands is enough to wash your hair, wash your body, and you can even use it if you have to sink wash your clothes. I decided to use one four ounce bottle for a week straight. That's all I used in the bathroom, and I even washed an entire set of clothes with it in the sink, and I'm not even down one ounce yet, and that's after a week of use. So it is possible that even if you're going on one of the longer Camino routes, a four to eight ounce bottle of Dr. Bronner's may be all you need. It also comes in all kinds of cool flavors and smells, they only run like $10. You can get them at REI, you can get them on Amazon. And the nice thing about it is that it's just got that clip lid. You drop a few drops in your hand, clip it, and you're done. No bags, no tins, no mess. Now, speaking of laundry, most albergues are going to have either a place to dry your clothes or a place to hang your clothes. So many Camino pilgrims will recommend that you take laundry clips with you to make sure you can hang your clothes up either on the line at the albergue or on your backpack if you have some stuff that's still wet in the morning and you need to take off and have it dry on the outside of your pack. For me, instead of carrying clips, I am gonna try out the Sea to Summit clothesline. The clothesline is secured by these little beads. So what you do is you put your item inside and then you slide the bead down until it clamps it in. If the albergue will allow, I can hang this up on my bed frame. I can simply wrap this around my backpack when I'm leaving and I will have storage for all of my clothes and I don't have to worry about clotheslines coming unclipped or forgetting them or people mistaking their clothes for mine because probably not too many people are gonna bring this. This clothesline is extremely lightweight, comes in at about $16. All right, speaking of ultralight, nothing says ultralight backpacking like Z-Packs. And one of the things that Z-Packs has made is this nice ultralight toothbrush. A toothbrush, which as you can see, has been cut in half. But the reason it's been cut in half is for storage. The second half comes with it, and now you've got a full-size toothbrush. It even comes with a little tiny toothpaste, which you can refill off a bigger tube when this runs out. All of this together fits inside this little box, only costs $3, and the whole thing weighs less than an ounce. Now, when we're done brushing up and showering, of course, we need to dry off. This is basically the ultralight chamois pack towel. It is incredibly absorbent. I mean, it literally pulls the water off of your skin. This is a medium towel and I can easily dry myself completely and still have plenty of leftover dryness on this towel. It is also quick drying, so I'm not gonna have to worry about having a big sopping wet uh, cotton towel on me. This is gonna dry quick, it is lightweight, 
it gets the job done. It is small, it is packable. You can get these from REI for about 20 bucks. Okay, now it's time to talk about something a little less pleasant, but equally important when it comes to Camino cleanliness, and that is going to the toilet. I hope this video has been helpful for you as you consider your packing plans for your Camino. If it has, please give the video a like and consider subscribing to the channel, clicking that bell notification, and then you will get updates the next time a video drops. Until next time, Boing Camino!